Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in here at the first championship with Team 6329, the Bucks Wrath. Coming out of the New England district, you guys already have two blue banners on the season. Incredible robot, great use of max composite. They can play really every element of this game. Here to talk with us, we have Ava and Maddie. Let's find out so much more about this great team here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. All right, Maddie, why don't you get us started? Tell us a little bit more about your team, your robot this year. How did you guys build this? So with our team being a little bit newer, it's mainly uh, sophomores this year. So we did an off-season event where we, we trained in a low seat, like low effort, low issues, and we worked together, figured out what we wanted to do. And when the season approached, we were able to fill into our new positions well, and we, we got to go through the designing process, and we got to decide what we wanted to do, what we didn't want to do. And we had two groups for each, like we had a group for, two groups for the intake, we had a group for the algae, we had a group for the uh, for the ramp and we had one for the climber and we figured out which worked best and we mashed it all together and we call our alpha bot and we worked out how they work well together like how our ramp needed to uh, be shaped to fit for the climber in the back and we uh, figure out what we want to do and then we make it pretty. Very cool Maddie thanks for sharing about that. Um, so tell me a little bit more about that alpha bot like how quickly was that process and then when did you start actually working on this competition robot so we got our alpha bot working and moving around it during week two wow and uh, we started figuring like pretty close immediately of what we want and what we don't want for our our pretty robot what we really took time with is like the designs and like how we wanted this and that's what took the longest i yeah. think because we, we got the other stuff down with the alpha bot very cool. Pretty impressive sophomores here on your team for sure. So can you tell me a little bit more about the mechanical features of your robot? Like what is it that your robot does and how does it do it so well? So our robot with the elevator, it can go through all four levels with the uh, wrist that tips, so it's on, but <laughs> it go and with this is for the algae for the processor. And then it can also get it from the floor and the reef. And then here it can get it from the floor of the reef and it, with the horns, it goes into the barge. Very cool. Can we see it run here a second? Very cool, thank you so much. Um, so maybe handing it off now to Ava, can you tell me a little bit more about this climber mechanism, you guys? How did that come about for the Bucks Wrath and why does it work so well? So the climber actually took about five to 10 prototypes. It definitely took us a while. We were still working on one from DCMPs to here to see if we could make a different one, be a little easier to align, but that didn't work out for us. Um, so our mechanism has two wheels that we have to... <laughs> so here, it has two wheels. We align it into the cage here, and then it kind of climbs up, and then our climber rolls in, if Noah can show that over here. To help us kind of clamp the robot in and higher up on it. Awesome, that works great. Uh, so you can tell me, there's a lot of like, pretty features on this robot, right? It looks very nice. Uh, one of the ones that catches mine, I'm sure a lot of other people's eyes, is this light bar here. Can you tell me a little yes. bit more about that? What so, does that do for your drive team? We actually have um, the light program. So the last 30 to 20 seconds of the match, it'll flash a color so we know. Mm -hmm. Just to give us a little reference of how much time we have left and how we have to pick it up. It also shows a color for allergy when we move the arm and wrist. That is very cool. Well, Bucks Wrath, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today to dive into this awesome robot. Uh, best of luck here at the first championship. And uh, my name is James for Fun Robotics Network. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu first.
Andy Mark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to andymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. So I try.